to the Band of Flight Summer channel. Just, just a really short, quick video. Uh, put out a video earlier today, or just uh, recently, and it was our trip up the, uh, on our flight around the world. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of features of the NXI that I wasn't able to cover properly in that video. So we're just doing a quick VFR flight up the coast of California here, up to uh, John Wayne County, Santa Ana Airport. And uh, just a couple of features I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, it's the traffic feature and the uh, initial approach feature. So let's hop in the cockpit here. And we're cruising along at 4,500 feet. Uh, we're only about uh, 25 miles from Santa Ana. So we'll go over the traffic feature here real quick first. And so we'll go down to the TFD here. And as I had shown in the other video, you navigate to the traffic map just just rotating your outer FMS knob here and then you go to traffic map and the traffic map shows up and it's in standby mode uh, so you have to uh, turn on the traffic avoid system here and now you're gonna get your traffic pop-up and we have ranged out as far as we can go here to 40 miles an hour and you'll see your traffic targets pop up here and it's a standard triangle it shows the direction they're heading uh, what altitude they are above or below you in this case, this one's 1,800 feet below us, this one's 25 feet above, above us, this one is descending, this one's climbing, uh, this traffic here is descending, this traffic here is descending, this one here is descending. So it shows all your relative traffic. Another new feature they have is motion. And you can see absolute motion, and this just shows the direction that the tra traffic is actually moving. But we're moving this way, so another choice you have is relative motion. So this shows that he's actually moved relative to us. This is what he's tracking based on our movement as well. So, so the, the conflict, as the conflict crosses your track, you're gonna see, so the, this guy here, his relative motion is going in this direction. So he's eventually gonna cross our track and this guy here as well. So they could become conflicts that we're gonna have to worry about. You can also set the duration of the motion. So this is on two minutes, you can make it shorter, one minute. 30 seconds or you can go right out to five minutes and shows the relative projected track for this aircraft in the next five minutes. So this guy here is definitely going to cross our track. So he's going to become uh, a conflict for us if he keeps descending down to our altitude. Right now he's 1800 feet above us and descending. So this is a much more detailed traffic information map. And uh, so I'm going to leave it up there while we go through our next feature. And now you'll see the traffic show up over here as well on this map as well with those selections. So I'm going to load up uh, the visual approach. So let's say we call up Santa Ana and they're landing on 20 left and right. And we want to join for a visual on 20 left. And so he goes, Roger, call uh, left base for runway 20 left. So I'm going to go into procedure and I'm going to select an approach. This is the other feature they've added. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now we have uh, visual approaches. So I'm gonna go down to, we want the visual approach for 20 left and hit enter. I'm not gonna put any barrel mins in. I'm just gonna load the approach. Or we can activate the approach because we're, we wanna start the approach right now. So hit activate. And you can see that it is drawn in. So our traffic is all showing up here still on this map as well. So you can see now it is drawn in a final, a straight, a straight in fix and a final fix for the approach. And we have a top of descent. And the top of descent is based on an altitude two and a half miles from the final missed approach point of 408 feet. And you can see we're got 408 feet in our path there. We have that top of descent. So if I set 400 and say 400 feet and engage VNAV we're going to follow VNAV path now to arrive at this straight in approach at so we hit that final approach fix at 400 feet and that's going to help us get lined up with the runway so we're coming in here we got the sun setting it's going to be hard to see the airport till we're pretty close to it so this is going to be a great tool to help us land on the approach here so We'll continue along. We'll uh, 
track inbound here. We'll keep an eye on this traffic that we're seeing here. And I can go back if I want to clear this up and just see the traffic. I can just go back to the traffic map again. Select the FMS knob, rotate to traffic, and range out. And there we see our approach on here, and we have the traffic here as well. So we're going to be starting our descent here. The path is coming in. The path is engaged, and we're going to be bringing back the power here. We're going to bring it back to about 40%, just so we don't get going too fast. That's good there, 42 and we got our descent going and we are heading in and we're going to be joining left base for uh, runway 20 left we do have a couple aircraft traffic here I don't know what this guy's doing but he's 200 feet below us right now this guy's 400 feet above us another thing they have on the uh, display here is altitude mode so right now I'm looking at traffic that is below us you have normal, above and below, and unrestricted. Unrestricted basically looks at all traffic basically 900 and 9,900 feet below you and above you. Normal caters that down to, I think it's about 2,700 feet above or below you, so it makes a narrow window for uh, traffic. Below takes it to 9,900 feet below you and 2,700 feet above, and above does the opposite. It takes you to traffic. 9,900 feet above you and I think 2,700 feet below you. So since I'm descending, below is probably a good option. I want to see all the traffic below me and I'm not too worried about traffic more than 2,700 feet above me so I'm going to leave it below but you can set it normal for cruise or unrestricted, whatever you choose to set here for your parameters. So if I go back here and I set unrestricted, we we'll, might see more aircraft pop up. I'll just range out here a little bit more and if I go back to below might see a couple aircraft disappear because they're not issues. So uh, I'm going to leave it in below because we're more interested in the aircraft uh, below us on the descent coming into Santana here. I'm going to range back in and then we'll keep an eye on any traffic as we're heading in. So the descent's looking good. I'm going to start configuring for our landing here. So we got our landing lights on, boost pumps are on and we'll just keep monitoring our traffic. Now this guy could be a problem, he's below us and right now his vector is crossing over us so hopefully he keeps turning so he doesn't become much more of a conflict. And we'll start to see when, if we can see him when we get a little bit closer. Okay, so everything's looking good here. I'm gonna start powering back a little bit more. Get the speed back, so let's lower the gear as we uh, before we start our turn here. So this is gonna make a nice turn onto final on a base light here so it's going to set us up really nicely for the approach. The airport's over here somewhere. See how it's hard to see with the sun so this is really going to help us uh, get lined up for our approach. Yeah, it's down in Syria I think over here. So I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just flying around in circles here but we'll keep an eye out as we come in. out so this is, this is handy for keeping an eye on your traffic this guy here is above us and climbing so he's not a huge conflict but this guy is below us and descending so he's quite low not sure what he's doing he might be coming in on a final approach here so we might uh, have to join in behind him Remember, you're doing this visually, so you need to be looking out and flying the visually. It's not an instrument approach. So I'm just using this as a tool to help me get lined up with a uh, final for an airport I might not be familiar with. So the airfield's over here somewhere, I believe. So we're about to make the turn to final here momentarily. Keeping an eye for that traffic. Oh, there's that traffic right there. So he's probably on final approach for uh, 20 left or right. So we're definitely far enough back from him that we're going to be able to make a turn in to the airport. So very useful tool this here for finding your traffic. Yeah, he's definitely lined up on final. He's below us and he's continuing straight in for the airport there. So shouldn't be a conflict. So we'll just uh, 
get our gear down. And get below 136, and we'll get our approach flap. We're still in VNAV. Still, there's the airport right there now. So I got the airport in sight. We're going to make our turn to final here. I'll let the autopilot do the turn to final as we start slowing down. I'll add a little bit of power so we don't get too slow. And then once we're lined up on the final, I'll just engage, disengage the autopilot and hand fly the approach from there. So 110 is a good speed. I'll add a little bit of power. And we have no other traffic conflicts. The airport, we're going for a 2 0 left. And I would just call uh, base leg, turning final, and get the clearance to land from tower, and then we're good to go. So, this is going to continue fo following the VNAV right down to that 408 feet on final. So, it's kind of leveled off here. This is making the turn, capturing back on that path. We're a little bit below glide path, so I'm going to let it uh, stay level here while we catch the path, and then we'll, uh, once we get the Vasis too white over too red, we'll uh, disengage the autopilot and hand fly it in for the final portion of the approach. So there's our glide path, looking good. Gonna disengage the autopilot, and we're going to hand fly it in for the remainder of the approach. So gear is down, got land flap to go, landing lights on, boost pumps are on. I say we are clear to land by tower, so we'll continue in. We'll power back a little bit, get a little bit high. And speed is good, we'll put our final flap in. Let's retrim. Leave the speed off. Speed is coming back nicely. A bit of power off still. It looks good. Speed's coming back nicely. We're clear to land. Flaps are full. Gears down. And dropping the power. We'll flare. Touchdown. And welcome to Santa Ana. So that was a nice quick uh, little video. Just uh, wanted to highlight those couple of features that we didn't get to take a good look at in the last video, which is the visual approach procedure you can uh, use now in the NXI and also the different traffic maps you can use and the features of those traffic maps. So it's an awesome, uh, awesome two awesome new features in the NXI and it's going to make your uh, flying uh, that much better, I think. So. Anyway, thanks for joining me. It was a nice quick video, and uh, we'll see you next time again. Band it out.